think Panther says bad matchup for uh, Pereira against Hamza. Yeah, I think so too. I would love to see that fight schedule. Connor finna KO Chandler in 60 seconds. So you have some of that. There's a lot more Connor defenders out there than I thought. And you know me, I love Connor. I'm rooting for him every time. I'm telling you, he's going to win every time. Please don't forget. Even though I ask questions on some videos. Brian Covington says, What are you talking about? I'm not a fan of Connor, but he is the tough path. Not that he has a tough path, but Connor is the tough path. Okay. How tall is Ian? Connor looks pretty big here, I'd say. Nugget of power. And I posted a video showed that McGregor versus uh, Ian Gary. And Ian Gary is just towering over McGregor. Even though in the portion of the video I I put up, you see McGregor doing kicks and spin, spinning back kicks, so you really can't see. But it's a big difference in size. I don't care what anyone says. Another one weighs in. Unfortunately, Mick Chandler uh, got robbed by McGregor. And you're right what you say. The UFC will bend over him, uh, bend over for him, and like him or not, he will sell pay-per-views. In case you're wondering, the word "cobber" in my previous comment is an Aussie slang word for mate. Okay, I didn't know that. Cobber means mate. All right, I remember that. So keep dropping those cobbers, and I'll figure it out as time goes on. I like it. I'm not opposed to learning other languages, for sure, especially slang. At Cody Book says. We just watched Strickland dominate one of the best fighters in the UFC has ever seen in Adesanya. Yeah, you sit here and ask if he can beat a guy who beat up a wash up Robert Whitaker. See, I'm just asking the question and I appreciate you weighing in and he says, show some respect. I hear you. No doubt. Strickland is, is that dude. Speaking of Sean O'Malley, can he? Of course. Uh, beat Cheeto there. He has the skills to beat Cheeto. He had his moments in the first fight. And then Walt White says, time will tell. That's going to be an interesting fight where either guy can win. Big opportunity for Marlon Vera. But O'Malley just got the belt. Is he really going to give it up this quick? I don't know. I don't think so. At Jay Burton, laugh out loud, I, would, I will be astonished if there's any outcome at all other than a first-round KO with Strickland seeing stars for days afterwards. Don't get me wrong, though. I would indeed love to see Sean Strickland successfully defend his belt, but DDP is just way too much to handle. In my humble opinion. Yeah, I mean, DDP is for real. Uh, that's a tough guy. And man, that the, fir the first big pay-per-view of the year is going to be interesting. It's going to be. And if it's a quick finish, would one of these guys be able to step in at 300? Is that what the UFC is waiting for too? Would Hamza get the call? I don't know. I don't know. And then it's during Ramadan, so who knows? So you got a lot, uh, a lot of questions about UFC 300. Who's going to be fighting there? Can Connor beat Chandler? Who's going to win between Strickland and DDP? Just a lot of questions uh, to be asked as we head, not head, as we are now into the new year. I mean, we are there, ladies and gentlemen, and this thing's going to get kicked off here this weekend. He's going to fight. Wait. He's going to fight. Wait. Hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight to call, UFC at its height yeah. Bringing that thunder with all his might Saying, step up, step up, step up. wanna fight? Uh -huh. Hold up, think twice uh -huh. Gladiator assassin, reckless, no abandon Walk through that cage, he'll leave your ass stranded Wake up, hey, where you at? Hey, Got hit in the head with a baseball bat